Good evening. I'm Obadar Womax, and I'm here to interview three of the most successful rugby players in the world. And they are going to share some of their moments. Hmm. John Lomond, would you like to share some of your most famous times of your career? Oh, uh, well, these aren't the most famous, but, um, well, the start of my career, when I got put on the Sevens team, um, I remember when I could run 100 metres in about 11 seconds. So, yeah, I was pretty proud of that. It's pretty fast for a big old winger like you. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, the 2000 Bleslow Cup test against Australia. I can still remember that. It's the day that I won the All Wax again. Yeah. What a great day for you, John Lummy. Yeah. Is that all you have to say? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, wait. And then the 1995 World Cup, I think. Bowled over that fullback who tried to do a classic tackle mm. on me. The commentary was like, oh my god. It's pretty cool. Now, we'll have Dan Carter on the scene. Now, Dan, your career has been a very famous one. You, win, you are one of the best kickers in the world, though. There are a bit of hate, I hear. Just, yeah. You're getting older or something? But yeah kind of retiring, you know, international rugby. Sometimes you've got to get to that age. And um, anyway, some of, some of my career moments, it's been um, a pretty good couple of years. Um, in June 2003, um, I made my All Blacks debut. And, um, yeah, I scored 20 points against Wales. Um, that was pretty good for my debut. Yeah. And, um, you know, and I <coughs> and then in France and Christchurch, which... The All Blacks won 31-23, and I also remember on the 27th, 27th of November um, 2010, I think it was, and then after I scored a halfway penalty against Wales, I became the highest point scorer. Oof, incredible. Now, how are those underwear ads going? Yeah, good, eh? Yeah, it's always good to shop. Do they make much money? Yeah, I do, actually. I've always, I've always wondered if underwear sells. Mm. Yeah. And moving to France? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm going to go make a bit of money before I retire. Yeah, fair enough. Yep. Now, last but definitely not least, we have Richie McCaw, the captain of the All Blacks. Thank you, Dan. Hi, mate. Hey. So, I hear that you have recently retired? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, kind of sucks, but, you know... My first debut, the debut, was Ireland, 2000, Ireland, 2001. Man, that stadium was a nice stadium. Like, a real, it was not meant for, like, league. It wasn't one of those ones where you just switch it around, put it in post. It was an actual rugby stadium. So the crowd was going wild, running out, putting on the black jersey. It was one hell of a day. Oh, I always, something been, I always remember. Have you been number special. seven all your life? What's the uh, position you played before? Um, yeah, I've pretty much been number seven. I played a bit of, um, in my, the two years ago, I played a little bit of eight when Karen Reed was getting, um, he had a big injury, so I played like a few games in eight. Mm. Um, rugby seven, uh, seven, number seven, my favourite position, um, I reckon I called off a great game as my send off, and all those line out tries from them, but they chuck it and I steal it. Do, do you think you um have been a good captain if you're one? Um yeah, sometimes you can get annoyed at mates like Dan Carter. Sometimes he puts a kick in, just like what were you thinking? But you know, it's a bit harsh. Are you your mates? What? You got to use our mates, right? Yeah. <coughs> to, you yeah, we've been around um, <coughs> the same. We've been around for, like, most of the time, um, like, together in the All Blacks. So, yeah. It's very nice. Um, You also fly planes, don't you? Uh, helicopters. And, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. And you did the God Zone one. <coughs> so, oh, that was hard. This, yeah. So, this was our third and final most successful All Black. Um, thank you for joining us. This has been an exciting time with all these stars on the show. Goodbye.